everyone. Welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to my crazy little world. Everything is kind of a hot mess around here right now. I'm behind on everything, but you know, kind of what else is new. Um, I'm holding this because I got this in the mail and I don't know what it is. So I'm going to open it here. I don't remember ordering anything, although that doesn't necessarily mean anything if you know me. I, I forget I order stuff all the time. It is an international shipment, which I find kind of odd because I would remember, I would think, if I ordered something internationally. Did I order a hook? Well, it's a five millimeter crochet hook, a Clover Amour. Thank you. I don't know who sent it, but thank you. I do appreciate it. Um, I have exactly one Clover hook that I got with a kit that I won and um, I really like it. It's a 4.5. This is a five millimeter. Awesome. It's got a kind of a squishy base and it's not just all metal down. And um, it's got a flat spot for my thumb. And I, I kind of like the way that those work. And so far, Clover Amours or ones that like imitate them have been what I like. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Again, I wish I knew who sent this. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And uh, awesome, because I use a five so much that... Uh, it's helpful to have another five around. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to set this down. And when I said it's been kind of a hot mess this week, it really has. Um, of course, there's work. And I am on a lunch break at work today on a Saturday. <laughs> this is my overtime day. So I'm recording on my lunch break, just very chilled out. Just, uh, you know, these shirts that have thumbs in them, they're great if you don't have ALAA. A-L-A-A, -A -A, by the way, stands for arms like an ape. I have very long arms, okay? I'm very tall. So it just kind of pulls. It's like your arms need to be a little shorter for this to work right. Yeah. But yeah, my shirt has thumb holes. If I ever get off my butt and either sew my own stuff or crochet myself a top with a thumb hole thingy, I love them because I love wearing the wristlets and stuff. Um, this hat was made about the same time as the very first wearable that I made, which that was out of the same yarn. And I decided to go for one of uh, Bag of Days patterns on this. I think it's cute. I don't remember which pattern it is. I made it really early this year. And uh, yeah, I've been like wearing a beanie because it's been kind of chilly in the house. We keep our heat on very low because it gets expensive to heat the house. I'm in Georgia. It doesn't get terribly cold here, but we were below freezing this morning um, when I woke up outside. Inside it was still like 62 Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is Celsius, but it's chilly, not cold. Okay. To the crochet. Oh, by the way, before we get to the crochet stuff, I do want to thank all of you folks for coming in. Um, whole bunch of new folks coming around lately. I really appreciate you stopping by and, you know, come by, make yourself at home. Try not to knock over the piles of yarn because that gets kind of weird. But, um... <laughs> I have made it to close to 700 subscribers. What? I mean, I just had my 500 subscriber giveaway. Uh, my next giveaway is going to be 1,000. When and if I hit 1,000 subscribers, there will be a big old giveaway. Y'all know when I do a big giveaway, it's a big giveaway. We also still have the Birthday Angels giveaway going on that I'm taking part of that involves Diego Crochet. Link will be down below. And if I remember... I'll try to stick it up here in, in the doohickey, all right? So, uh, yeah, that's all a thing. Just pay attention. Always check the description box of not only my video, but other videos of creators that you watch. You never know what they've got tucked in there, a little hidden stuff, like postcards. That's right. We can do postcard swaps. I'm doing them now. It's fun. I've got a stack of them. I have to make something to put them all in so that I can look at them at my leisure because I really have enjoyed doing this so far. Now for the crochet. In my no catchy name bag. Yes, I managed to get it one of her bags. It's hard to do because they disappear quickly. Plus the little notions pouch that goes inside. Oh, 
And this is the other clover that I have because it came with the kit that I'm doing with this. See? Ta-da! And this one is, oh, it's a four. It's not a 4.5, it's a four. So now I have a four and a five. Awesome! So let me put this back in here because I like to keep my hooks with the project because otherwise I forget what hook I'm using. The notes don't work for me. It has to actually be with it if I leave a note. What is this random number on this piece of paper? Throw it out. That's my world right there. Um, I have got now four squares done. They are all out of this uh, nice thick mercerized cotton because they're for the granny square bag. They're made out of 24 seven cotton. I've shown this before. I won this on Instagram. There we will see if it'll focus. And it comes with the tassels. You don't even have to make them. It comes with the, the leather handles. You don't have to make those. If you want it lined, you're gonna have to line it because it didn't come with that, but it came with this. And uh, yeah, I've got four of the squares done and I'm just kind of doing this in between other stuff. Uh, this is not a priority. I just thought I want it and it's fun and I'm doing it. And I got almost four of the squares out of one ball of the 24 seven cotton. And when I say almost, I mean, almost I literally lacked three stitches I lost it yarn chicken y'all so I tied it on and did the thing but there is more than enough yarn to make these squares and make this bag because I just finished the first ball of this 24 7 cotton and there are two there's almost three more because I just took a little bit out of the third one um and yeah, and one ball made four. You'll need eight squares. So I'm going to have plenty left over. Um, and plus there's a pink one in here and there is the yellowish golden one. And those were technically to make the tassels, but the tassels came with it. I have the tassels in a little container over here. So yes, and I am thrilled to pieces with this bag. Love it, love it, love it. This bag is, this is actually a bag that I acquired at a Goodwill. And I decided I washed it and decided to use it as a project bag because I like it. It's cute, it's floral, and I'm dropping yarn labels. Don't worry, I do save them all, all of them. In this bag, there's sparkle yarn. There's this red, oh my, look at that glittery sparkle. These are Red Heart with Love. Got these at Ollie's months and months and months ago. This one is, is silver or gray. I'm not sure what color they call it because I think that's the, label for it on the floor that I just dropped. But yes, there was yarn barf. It is not pretty. Um, also in here, some non glitter yarn in this really pretty color. This is teal. It is the Big Twist value. Big Twist is a Joanne uh, yarn and the picture is showing it a little bit more blue. It's, it's slightly more greenish. It's a bluish green. It is a teal and didn't use much out of it, but it is for something that I finished and have sent off as a gift and they don't know they're getting it. So I didn't even take pictures of it. I just sent them off. I know, right? So I didn't get to post it anywhere. And also, oh, here's a <laughs> Mainstays Anti-Pilling. I finally got to try some of that. Y'all, that's really nice stuff. It crochets up like a dream. They, they need to put out more colors. The Mainstay, Mainstay being the, the brand at Walmart. Hello, Walmart, you've done good on this. Just do more, do more. I liked working with that. But all of those yarns in here, oh wait, I knew there was another one in there that I did not use any out of for what I was doing, but gosh, we gotta look at the pretty anyway. Uh, all that sparkle is so nice. This is Red Heart with Love Metallic, blah, blah, blah. Oh, black, who knew, black. Um, but yeah, there were some gifts made out of those. They are sent off and that was part of the madness this week was getting Christmas cards written out, getting mailers put together because I never have the right size mailer to put stuff in and getting stuff to the post office because is the post office open when I'm not working? No, it isn't. Hmm. Anyway, that's taken care of. Just wanted to show you, give you hints as to what I was working on because some of you maybe the recipients of what was made out of stuff in this bag. I'm just saying. Uh, the hubby blanket got absolutely no love this week. There was no time for it. Um, oh, 
Got to show you something else. I got to pause this because it's way over there. My apologies for the pause and break there. Also working this week on the Pick and Mix Cow by Lisa Ladybird Loves. Hopefully the, the doohickey thing will be up here. If not, there'll be a link in the description down below. Um, I have not gotten to this week's stitch yet. This week's stitch for me is this color right here which I love. It is Burnt Orange, I believe is the name of it. Yep. And this is another Big Twist value by uh, Joann's. And um, it's good value yarn. I like it better than the Red Heart Super Saver. It is softer. Um, but yeah, it, it's a decent value yarn and I will buy more. Absolutely. Now, this is my pick and mix cow blanket to this point blanket being a loose term i'm actually just using this it'll be over the back of my recliner which is a big ugly brown recliner this will cover it up and make it a little more lively but yeah more of this color down here that stitch i, I did only a very few rows of there will be a lot more of the orange this time because whatever stitch it is it's called doublets i don't know what doublets are i have to look it up i haven't really had time to search it out and find she linked a tutorial but the one that she linked wasn't real happy with uh, because 12 minutes in and we still weren't to the stitch yet ain't nobody got time for that okay but this nice warm colors and it has been a lot of fun doing this I've learned a lot of new stitches so far um, so a lot of stitches that I had never tried some things that I didn't know what they were called. A camel stitch, which is a uh, half double and a third doobly-doo or something. Um, the loops. I had never tried loops before. I had seen them all over the place, but never tried them. Once I got the hang of it, it wasn't bad. But at first I was like, what do I do with my hands? Yeah, but got my loops in there. So yeah, it's kind of fun. And I could see doing something like this again, maybe even following all those same stitches. If it were smaller, maybe I wouldn't mind the waistcoat so much. That was rough. I love the way the waistcoat stitch looks. I don't like what it does to my fingers. Just all that. Yeah, I don't know what that face was, but having to push that in there. Um, but making a pillow cover out of it. Wouldn't that be a fun, in a smaller version, fewer rows, of course, co cover to a pillow in the living room just for fall colors? Yeah, so I kind of like it. Um, and it's growing and growing and yeah. Oh, by the way, my main color, which you see here on the very bottom with those couple of rows and where I've gotten so far where now I'm adding three instead of two. This is a uh, Red Heart Super Saver Latte Stripes. That's why we got different colors on top and they kind of change and fade into each other, but it all kind of goes together. You know, it's kind of wacky like me, but not too wacky. It's livable. I mean, hey, if my hubbies can put up with me for over 20 years, um, yeah, we can put up with a wacky blanket that I'm really kind of loving making. So, yes, that is now over there to be put away. What have I forgotten? That is the question. What have I forgotten? Um, I know that I've got a hot mess in here right now. And yeah, I will need help. <laughs> to start getting stuff put away at a certain point it becomes overwhelming to me and then I don't know where to start I get frozen like I don't know what to do yes but I'm always behind on everything um so yes when I watch your videos I'm probably not watching them on the day they come out because I, I usually watch it work and to be honest I usually watch it one and three quarters speed so yeah that's the only way I can keep up with because I'm subscribed to so many people because I love this community and I enjoy watching all the videos and I try to leave, try to leave comments even if it's just a little short brief comment because I know that helps feed the YouTube algorithm gods and I know what it's like to get a comment. I love when I get comments. Leave me a comment. It might take me a few days to even heart it but I do love seeing them. And I love when you like the videos and when you hit that subscribe button and uh, when you watch some of my other videos too, besides just the yarny stuff. I do have uh, snacks around the world. Yes, lots of yummy stuff. I have started something called Time for Tea with Deborah, uh, where I'm trying out teas that I got in my Sips Buy boxes, 
which I'm very behind on. Just still working on the October teas, and it's the end of November. Always behind. I have started something called Book Look. There are some technical difficulties with a couple of my videos, which if I can't get them fixed, you will see those difficulties. You might have to look at it sitting on your side. I got to figure out how to fix that. But um, yeah, <laughs> hashtag technology, right? And um, Secret Santa, I have my Secret Santa gift here that I have received. The only thing I've looked at is that it came from all the way in Australia, hello. Uh, so I haven't opened that yet. I've been a good girl. Most of the time, I've been a bad, bad girl. Like that song from Fiona Apple. Wow, I haven't thought of that name in a long time. Anyhow, thank you guys for coming by. Leave me a comment if you would. And I see, we'll see you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.